Just after I got back from the Komodo expedition, I found myself in a hostel with only a barbell to work with. It had been five days since I'd trained and I knew it would be another three days until I could train again before I got to Australia. So I had to think, how would I optimize training full body to stimulate hypertrophy and maintain my strength using just a barbell? And this led me to a pretty perfect workout. So I selected six exercises, two for push, two for pull, and two for legs. And I'm gonna go through why I carefully selected each exercise. And of course you can see what these exercises are already if you just look at the bookmarks below, but it's worth watching all the way through because I've never posted a raw training video before everything's always been jump cuts and music over the top which isn't actually the reality of the grit involved in a proper training session so i'm going to leave this one unedited with no music and no jump cuts so you can see the absolute intensity that david and i brought to every single set all right enjoy so why the back squat it's my ultimate lower body exercise you're getting major glute activation major quad activation and it's a fully compound movement bracing the core the entire time so we're just getting warmed up now 60 kilos 100 kilos for our warm-ups then my first working set is going to be 140. We're only going to do two working sets for each exercise today. Nice. So David's just smashed 150 kilos for eight reps in his second set and that's us done. Nice and intense, you saw the intensity we gave those sets. And that's enough if you're doing full body, otherwise you'll just absolutely fry your nervous system, fry your brain. Uh, so now we're moving on to Romanian deadlifts. Why Romanian deadlifts? My favorite posterior chain movement, Most a lot of people prefer the, dead, uh, the deadlift, but David actually loves the Romanian deadlift as well. You're getting major hamstring and glute activation but also right the way from your lower back up to your upper trap because you're obviously bracing your core the entire time. Those back muscles are contracting the entire time to support that weight. So yeah, we're moving on to 140 kilos and we're both gonna do two sets. See how it goes, we're doing overhand, underhand grip because we don't... Because <laughs> we don't have wrist wraps. Yeah, nice. Jesus. So I did two sets of 140 uh, for eight reps. And pro tip, if you don't have wrist wraps, I recommend wrist wraps, but you can do an overhand, underhand grip to make your grip last longer. But David is used to doing a lot heavier weight. That was 160, uh, but his grip was going a bit, so let's take like a mid-set pause. All right, that's legs done. Now we're moving on to the back, starting with the bent over row. So obviously your options are limited when you're only using a barbell, but the bent over row is perfect for hitting the entire middle of the back. You're not gonna get maximal lat activation. We're mainly looking at the lower back here and the mid traps and obviously rear delts and bicep come along from the journey. So starting off with 100 kilos. I don't normally do this, but I imagine I'll get around eight reps.
So that's set one done. We both only got about six reps. So we've dropped the weight slightly to 90 kilos. RPE 10 this time. So we're not gonna stop unless the other person gives us permission. Uh, maximum intensity, final set on this exercise. Easy, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Easy, one there again. Come on. Easy. Very nice, very nice. Got one more. Ah, well done, mate. <laughs> That's one. Two. Seven. Eight. Nine. We've got loads more. Ten. Twelve. Come on, David. Thirteen. Fourteen. Good drop it. Fifteen. All right, two more still. Yeah, let's go. Two more. Yep. Yep. One. Good. <laughs> Obviously, we're going for that Greek god physique, so we need to get some lateral delt in. Normally, I would use dumbbells, but we're going to use the barbell today, obviously. You know the drill. And you can do this exercise called an upright row. So we're going to be hitting the lateral delts and the upper traps in one. All right, legs done, back done. Now we're moving on to push. Two exercises, first of which is a flat barbell press. How could that be missed? So the reason for this one should be pretty clear. You're getting maximal pec major activation, both clavicle head and sternal head. You're hitting your lateral delts a little bit, a lot of front delt and a lot of tricep. So just warming up and then I'll move on to two sets. Two sets of 100 kilos should get around eight reps. Jesus Christ. Come on, it's light, it's only 100. Good. Good. All right, final exercise. Lateral delts, front delts, and a bit of upper chest as well, depending on how you position your body. So this is the military press, barbell military press, of course. I'm gonna do another two sets of eight. As you can tell, eight is my favorite number. Um, I recommend using a belt. Fine, you get so much more core stability. I would only use a belt for two exercises, military best and press and back squat normally.
Nice. Good rep. Very happy with how that went. Perfect session for me. And that's the first time I've ever trained full body, would you believe? I'm obviously a massive push pull legs advocate if you've watched any of my videos, but that felt fantastic. Good to get a session in. It's actually been seven days since I've done any training, so great to get back on the horse. Hold on, David. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about the session or in general, then comment below and I will reply. And if you're wondering where I am, I'm currently in the Botanical Gardens in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, about to start an epic series of adventures over here. Stay tuned and subscribe if you're not yet so that you can keep up. And please tell all your friends so I can get to the next subscriber milestone Q&A as quickly as possible. All right, have a good day.